means we are looking ahead and joining us tonight on News Nation to preview day two of the confirmation hearings in D.C. is Northwestern University law professor Martin Reddish. Professor Reddish specializes in constitutional law and federal jurisdiction and has testified before Congress as an expert witness on nine separate occasions. Professor Reddish, thank you for joining us tonight on News Nation. Uh, thank you for having me. Let's start by um, looking ahead to tomorrow. So, of course, we're going to have Q&A. The senators will have uh, plenty of time to ask questions of Judge Barrett, uh, 30 minutes each. What should people at home be preparing for and paying special attention to during tomorrow's hearing? Well, the decision the Democrats appear to have made is to try to turn judicial lemons into political lemonade. They, they realize that they can't stop her, the confirmation. There's really no way they can. So what they're trying to do while the nation's attention is turned here is make a strong political argument that the Republicans are out to destroy uh, Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. They weren't able to do it politically, the argument goes, so now they're trying to do it through the Supreme Court. And uh, that's a powerful argument. It worked uh, in 2018 in the midterm elections, and the Democrats have really decided to avoid the whole judicial issue and, and make this a frontal assault on the Republican opposition to the Affordable Care Act. And they did that strategically today. They began to lay out their arguments in preparation for tomorrow using very personal stories of people who have pre-existing health conditions and that the Affordable Care Act and those people's health care would be on the line if a Judge Barrett becomes a Justice Barrett. So how do you expect them to continue those arguments tomorrow? And I think for the general public, uh, what they should take away from what they're witnessing. Yeah, it's important to understand that those arguments, as powerful as they may be on a political level, really have nothing to do with the legal issues. Uh, the, the court doesn't decide the constitutionality of a statute on the basis of whether it thinks the statute is doing good things or doing bad things, and, and the Democrats know that. So it's really talking past Judge Barrett. Judge Barrett is a, is a very competent judge. She's uh, even more than competent. But what you see is what you get. Uh, there, there's no mystery about what her ideological views are, what her legal views are. She, she's made clear she's basically channeling her mentor, Justice Scalia. And that's what the Republicans want and what the Democrats don't want. So, so the Democrats, I think, have made us a smart strategic move to basically talk past her and talk to the American public about the, the social and political impact that's, that's coming here. And in this late stage of a presidential election, that could be a pretty important message. Well, Professor Martin Reddish, we appreciate you taking the time tonight, a Northwestern University law professor. I'm sure uh, talks in your class right now are getting pretty interesting with current events. So we thank you for sharing your time with us tonight. My pleasure. Thank you.